All right, well, welcome back to uh, Campaign Junkie Plays. Some more of this, The Night of the Rabbit. It's really simple. I mean, just really got to think what the next Another move one. is. I know for the boat we need uh, an anchor and a rudder. And, uh... A stick won't help here. Oh, it made me walk all the way back down there for that. I'm guessing this is going to be our anchor. <gasps> that is a perfect anchor. Now all we need is a rudder. But as long as the catfish is swimming outside the barrier, we can't even think about setting off. But once I've done that, we get started, right? Yes, and then our great journey will begin. Hmm. Or so we hope. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in my inventory that I'll... No, I'd better be careful with the thing. Good idea. Hey! That's exactly what we need. An excellent rudder. But as long as the catfish is swimming outside the barrier, we can't even think about setting off. But once I've done that, we get started, right? Yes, and then our great journey will begin. Hmm. Or so we hope. All right. Let's go then. Did you give me any more ideas? Oh, isn't it a super smart and drop dead stylish purse? Everyone will want to invite me to the theatre now. Maybe you can help. Excuse me, but no time. Got to practice. There's a birth, but I'm pre. Well, hey! All right. Still utterly useless. Let's go back to where we first came in. Let's see if there's anything going on up there. Another one. Wait, I know you. Or at least someone who's just as lazy as you. <laughs> oh my god, drops everywhere. Yep. And another. Another drop. Well, everywhere. That is two. Two places. <sighs> Whoa, -ho -ho! that is a big spider. Holy cow. As long as it stays right there, it can keep its pretty spider. Let's kill it. I don't want to make the spider mad. And if the web breaks, it's no good to anybody. Okay. Um. All right then. Let's get out of here. I thought it was something. What a weird statue. There's a little sp mm. I very, very like someone flick. Yep. I haven't seen that lizard anymore, so I'm a little concerned about that. Yep, there's another drop. See it? Right there. Well, how do you get it? There's an owl's wall here, it's just like at home. Yep. <clears throat>
another one of those stickers. What the hell? Wow, the whole town fits under the tree. And I want did I oh Let's go talk to him. Let's see if there's something I'm missing. It's gotta be. Let's talk to Conrad, shall we? You took good care of my niece. Thank you. You are a true tree walker. That is what we call animals who help others in need. Oh. For months, our beautiful mousewood has been subjected to aggressive crow attacks. Those crows are feral, almost incapable of speaking. A very unsettling situation. I don't trust you at all, man. About my preparations for the- According to tradition, I think I know enough now. Yeah, I think I'm done. Let's get out of here. I'll get back to work then. Good luck. Oh, stop! But don't step on the fork. But they make snolly. <sighs> fine, fine. Wait, is it a. Damn it. Yeah, I'll come back later. Um. <sighs> Gotta check everything now, because got the boat done. Oolie's nightcap, sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf bark, but I only have one, one single leaf bark. Well. What did I do that for? I'd better leave that where it is. I want to be a magician. Around here they... <laughs> <laughs> One hot coffee. That won't work. Sure will you. Ow. Uh, my coffee's cold. <laughs> no way. I'd better hold on to that. I'd better hold on to that. Now the invitation is in the envelope. Okay. The Marquis said I can only stick it to a sealed envelope with an invitation inside. Hmm. Ah. The envelope's no longer sticky. It won't stay closed. No, I'll keep that. What? It'll close it. No, I'll keep that. <sighs> fine, fine. All right. Um. Wow. The mouse with the backpack gave it to me. It's full of writing I can't read. I wonder whether it belongs to that mysterious wood sprite. The old invitation is safe in the envelope. Hmm. Ah. Uh, the envelope's no longer sticky. It won't stay closed. I don't think sleeping drops will help me here. Cool, rose hips. When they're dried, you can use them as itching powder. Interesting. Cool mushroom. Hmm, the way. Maybe there's something sticky I could use. 
need to speak with everybody now, I guess. Let's talk with this grumpy guy. Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. No touchy. I don't think sleeping drops will help me here. Maybe he'll tell me something new. I've already done that. Hopeless. Hopeless. The garden with the big flower seems to belong to the mouse with the backpack. No, it belongs to old Uli. Who is old Uli? Yeah, old Uli. Old Uli. He ran a pharmacy, but he vanished. And how did he disappear? Mm, it was during the first crow attack. Bang! Just like that, he was gone. Some say he found something out. Found something out? What? Well, about where the crows come from and why they always come from the northwest. He might have known something about the river, too. He wasn't always doing research up there for nothing. That led to his doom. What about the river? Well, it overflows its banks. Were you born yesterday? Do I really have to spell everything out for you? But, yeah, I'm new. Hey. Hey, you. This is private property. There's nothing else I can do in here. I mean, I can help, help the frog. Right? Yeah? It's good. Maybe call. you can use it to call someone. We still have a lot to do. We need to get back to work. We still have to renovate an antique cabinet for our neighbour. Ah, oh, that'll be fun. Oh, I love furniture. But make sure you don't sand too deep this time. Yeah, yeah. Do you see it? There's a little water drop. We'll give it another five seconds, then I gotta go. Coffee won't help. Coffee won't help. Uh, no. What's well, hard? You should have been able to throw it at him. Oh, the thing, it relaxes. I'd better hold on to that. But. Yeah. And good night. What did you just put in the water? Uh, me? Oh, uh, nothing. Something that makes little mice sleepy couldn't harm a gigantic catfish. Well, at least I hope not. Oh, ho, ho. outstanding, first mate. Please open the barrier by pressing the lever over there. Where? Here. It looks like you can open the barrier from here. Either that, or fire off a couple of rockets. Let's give it a try. Oh god, I thought I fired up rockets. Oh, oh, well done! I shall defer to you on the maiden voyage of our good ship Goldleaf. 
Arr, cast off starboard port, make him walk the plank. On second thoughts, I should probably take command. You can still be my first mate, though. Man, I need a parrot on my shoulder who just agrees with everything I say. Then I would be captain. What the hell? Downstream we go. Halt! Who sails down the brook? What? That didn't amaze you? Oh no, not him again. Waterway troll, 400 leaf bucks. Oh, you mean toll? <laughs> How troll? Yeah, yeah, smart hand troll and gifted. My babysitter Anya always says that. Dead end, unless you pay 400 leaf bucks. Nobody sails under my bridge without paying. Oh, Just... <laughs> river pirates. Oh, kids will be kids. You know, we used to cook up schemes like this, but as an adult, you have to let things like this roll off your back. But, but maybe just this once you ought to lose your patience and show that little cheeky monkey who's boss. Cheeky monkey? monkey. <laughs> little Humbert is a mouse. You kids ought to work that out between you. Uh, I'll just watch. Oh, <laughs> river pirates. How droll. <laughs> uh... What are you laughing at? have to think of something again. Uh, you again, Humbert. Waterway troll, 400 leaf bucks. Nobody sails under my bridge without paying. Uh, I'll have to think of something again. Damn it. Oh, these shiny things. Worthless! Waterway troll, 400 leaf bucks. Except for me. And maybe my babysitter, Anya. She says I'm a gifted child. Oh, oh. Worthless! Waterway troll, four except for me. And maybe she says I... No, no. Right to the eye. Worthless! Waterway ex And she says... Shut. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's relaxation team. The Great Zaroff. I wonder if that was his stuff in the truck, his top hat. Cool, rose hips. When they're dried, you can use them as itching powder. Worthless! Waterway to accept for and maybe she says I. This. Worthless! Waterway troll, 400 except for me, and maybe she says I. How could that be worthless, man? It's a big chunk of. The virtuoso Maxim Malsikov currently resides in Mousewood and is prepared to teach one, but only one, highly gifted apprentice the art of playing the violin. Interested parties, please apply. Hmm. Too bad I'm not very musical. Waterway troll, 400 leaf bucks. Nobody sails under my bridge without paying. Uh, I'll have to think of something. Again. I think I know what I want to do. Oh. Uh, just a sec. This little mouse scared the shit out of me. Welcome back. I know you're out there somewhere. Come back soon. I'll take care of your garden until then. Take 
maybe you can get a hamburger. Hamburger. Oh, what a wonderful idea. It is? Yes. It's perfect for little Humbert. Then he can play violin together with Plato. I'll tell him about it soon. How about now? Oh. See you later. Take care. Shit, that's not it. Maybe I need to go tell him. Oh, she's already what? There. The stupid weasel with the hat went and sneaked to you? No matter what he said, it's not true. He's a liar. Liar, I say. Really? But his brochure looks very promising. It even says that it's only a few steps to fame and a huge audience. Wait, what? Fame? What exactly does that thing say? It says that the famous Maxim Mousapol is currently in Mousewood to teach only one selected, gifted apprentice to play the most difficult to learn instrument in the world. Only one? It says here that the apprentice must be especially talented. Well, I am talented and smart. I'm smart and talented. You see, Jerry was right. Humbert, you little hooligan, you're exactly the right mouse for this. Really? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm going to be a rock star. You can pass, you weird weasel. I haven't got time for you now. The next time you see me, it will be on the cover of an album or on sure. stage somewhere. If you can afford the tickets, that is. Right, Anya? Of course, you little rascal. Well done, Jerry. You've got the makings of a true tree walker. Now we can float on down the brook. <sighs> I hope I find something that's sticky. Come on, let's go. Onward. That was a little shaky. <laughs> Why did we Thank stop you here? very much, my young friend. That was a really excellent start to my great adventure, and it started here by the humble cold water brook. Now I'm off for the big river, and then out to the open sea. But what about all the crows hanging around there? Oh, you're right. I'll need to be on my guard. Oh, yeah. If all else fails, I'll simply blow some of my exotic Indian pepper right into the crow's beak. Pepper? Yes. Go ahead and take some by way of thanks. Indian nice. pepper serves many purposes. You can even season your food with it. You don't say. Keep that in mind. But now. Thank you. That was handed now. I still no luck with your bike. <laughs> to tell you the ch it, it's real. I, I could really. Your bicycle is well. I expect the ice will have, but if I don't deliver the packages, to hmm, maybe I can help. Good luck, plates. <laughs> what? Then I was, dude. I've already delivered all your stuff. Right? I mean, come on. Maybe I can pick that out. No, I'd. Be Let's go. It's still a swift cop. Yes. Oh, 
the boat is drifting away. Well then, see you soon. Don't forget me and watch out for the waterfall. What? Waterfall? What? Whoa, 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 dude. That was a close one. Oh, man. Dude. Hey, this must be the Wood Dwarf's home. This had better be oh, worth all the trouble. my stuff back. You have little parachute things. You see any? Yep. There. Another drop. I'm gonna look out for these things now. Locked. Hey! Stop messing with the window. Take a hike. <laughs> I think I just heard somebody. That sounded like a cry for help. Calling for help? Never! I told you to skedaddle! <laughs> no, not Again, leaving. I'm sure someone needs my help in there. I have to get in there somehow. Maybe. And another. Oh. The book is getting pretty dangerous here. If only I had known. Showing your snail now. It looks so comfortable on the beach. Hmm. But I think it would like to come along with me for a while. <gasps> Man, it was stuck on there really tightly. The snail did a good job sealing the envelope. Whoa! The stamp made a zillion copies of the invitation. They hardly fit in my backpack now. <laughs> nice. That works out fine. Fine, 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 fine. Locked and bolted. Wow. I think somebody just coughed in there. And Get some pepper. Get some hot Shove coffee. Off. I'm sick. I've also got some calming tea. That sounded like a cry for help. I have Parents are liable for their children. Children are liable for their parents. Yes, this means you. In case of non-compliance, we shall refuse to deliver blue juice for a period of no less than three weeks. They planted root fields in between all the trees and they stretch out far into the forest. Planting and harvesting all those roots must be an awful lot of work. Yeah, imagine too. Anyone taller than a mouse, or taller than me for that matter, probably wouldn't even notice this. But there it is, hidden among tree roots and moss. Another one. <sighs> Uncles are liable for grandparents and cousins, and vice versa. Of course. All right, well, that's everything. Anyone taller than a mouse, or taller than but there it hidden among. Anyone taller than but there hidden among tree. Securely locked. How do I? How would I? It looks interesting over there as well, but I can't get across the brook here. Okay, so now I'm stuck. I better be careful with this thing.
A stick won't help here. Anyone taller than a mouse, but they're hidden among trees. Hmm. Trespassing in the dwarf root fields is strictly prohibited. They planted root and they planted. I can't open the door with this. Scram! Maybe I can get in through the window. I don't want to break the glass. I must do this very carefully, just like the pros in the movies. Movies? Is that your name? Beat it, burglar! There, I think I heard someone. Again! <laughs> All right, well, um... No. Good idea. I'll try to cut a hole in the glass. I'd say that worked pretty well. Now what? Now you take that. Let's pick it up. A professional job. Bye, Shimmering Snail. I think I'd better let it go on its way now. <laughs> there! Another cry for help! I need to find out what's going on here. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello, my potty hat. <laughs> it's you and I'll delinquent. What? I thought you were calling for help. Ah, help? A wood dwarf never asks for help. I... <laughs> you... <Bless> you. <laughs> there, again. <laughs> you see those hatches? I'm no. about to come over there and lock you up in one of our tunnels. <laughs> and there you can... There you can... can... Admire the tunnels? <laughs> oh, again, like about you just laugh. called for help again. What the fuck? Call for help? A sneeze, that's all. I've come down with that dwarf cold. Must have caught it somewhere in the hiking tunnel when I went to see my parents. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. About my dwarf cold, my housemates have already headed for the hills. <laughs> That's what I would have done in their place. A dwarf cold's nothing to sneeze at. Are you sure I can't help you somehow? Yes, I'm sure. Nobody can help me. Although, except for one person, perhaps, okay, who's she who? could help me. If she wanted to, Ooh. but bah, a wood dwarf never asks for help. Well, I'm not a wood dwarf. On the door it says, premium dwarf root storage. It also says, hands off. Yep. And it is firmly locked. The little sign says, Blue Juice Machine, a wood dwarf patent, reproduction prohibited. The... He's awake. Very clean sink. Seems like the wood dwarfs enjoy cleaning up. Or perhaps they had a visit from their granny. Yeah. My mum always <laughs> cleans our place then too. I mean, when our granny comes over, not the wood dwarf's granny. We don't even know her. Okay. That's an awful lot of tunnels. I wonder what the dwarves are hiding in there. 
<coughs> Logger, this bed is also empty. On this bed it says, soft steel. Uh, what is this? Switch. Hmm, nothing. Hmm, nothing. The window I just ruined. Did everything, hadn't I? This thing down here. Nah, it's standing still. I probably shouldn't touch it. It even says so on the little plaque on the wheel. Better keep your paws off. All right, let's let's hope, let's wake him up. Are you sure I can't help you somehow? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Nobody can help me, although, except for... Who would that be? Anya Mouse. Okay, good. Now that old Uli is gone, she's... <laughs> <laughs> the... Un... 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 Only one? Exactly. She's the only one who can deal with illnesses. So let's go and ask her. Ah, a wood dwarf never asks for help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go take care of this. I'll take that. Remember, thank you, gift, for the badgers for the rhubarb pie. Hmm. Securely locked. There, at last. I won't need the key anymore. I'll just leave it in the lock. Why would you? Okay. Another one of those stickers. Ah, look at that. <laughs> okay. A lot of cutesy stuff in here. This Humbert's not out of here. Next step. Um, on your mouse. Extravagant. Dwarves is sick. Oh, fudge. Don't worry. Old Uli taught me a lot about dwarf illnesses. Off to the wood dwarves. <laughs> Blistering blue Battenberg. This is a very bad case of dwarf cold. That's what I said. Really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Remedy for this. What do you need? Jerry, will you help me find a few ingredients for this poor dwarf? Sure. Um, of course. Oh, thank you. Here, take this recipe. 
Hopefully it didn't include sneeze, uh, snail. Sneeze, nice. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> I'll be in the cafe getting everything ready. The recipe is a list of things we need to get the poor guy back out to the root fields. And then at last we'll get some blue juice again. Steinberg, we'll have you back on your feet in no time. And now I need to hurry back. I've got a delicious buttercup pie in the oven. Well done. Heal the dwarf and your needs. A yellow marsh marigold bud, a got fish it. scale, got it. and some pepper. I got it. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, shit. Just a sec. There. How can I help you? found all the ingredients. Ah, let's hope that old Uli's recipe is good for something. I only gave you one, I guess. Okay, I only needed one. Ah, there's some pepper left over. Here. Uli's medicine has to be stirred into something liquid and then administered to the patient. And then there will be blue juice once again. Sounds good. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. We'll see you next time on Campaign Junkie Plays, Night of the Rabbit.